हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टुडे वी आर एट आशवा ड्राइव टेस्ट सेंटर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू द जी टू रूट्स सो दिस इज द लेटेस्ट रूट्स फॉर 2022 नाउ देयर आर टू ड्राइव टेस्ट रूट्स एंड इन द फर्स्ट रूट सो वी विल ड्राइव ऑन टू द जॉन स्ट्रीट वेस्ट टेक पार्क रोड नॉर्थ एंड देन वी विल कम बैक बाय अ बॉन्ड स्ट्रीट whereas in the second route we are going to drive around park road and montreuil avenue so around the drive test center i would say so let's start the drive test so examiner will ask you to take a right turn so make sure you scan your car before moving forward and then immediately after that we are going to take a left turn give signal check your mirror and blind spot there may be some traffic during weekdays so make sure you drive carefully let the pedestrian pass let the cars parking or coming out of the parking go ahead drive carefully there are some bumps on the road and now we are going to take a right turn so give signal check your mirror and blind spot let the car coming from the back or the straight road pass and now from here we are going to take a right turn on john street west so if the signal is green take the turn or if the signal is red then make sure you treat it as a stop sign stop for 3 seconds check your mirror and blind spot and then take a turn when it is safe and when there are no cars coming now at the moment the speed limit is 40 km per hour make sure you do not go beyond 40 km per hour and after the first intersection the speed limit will change to 50 km per hour so make sure you car accelerate your car beyond like from 40 to 50 while crossing every intersection check left right left check your all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds and now we are taking a right turn on park road south so this is a stop only for us stop let the oncoming traffic pass So now there are many cars coming that I can see now so I will stop for them let them pass and then complete the turn Do not hurry if there are any cars waiting behind you even if they are honking don't get nervous take your time and always take the turn when it is safe to do so And now the speed limit on Park Road South is 50 km per hour the examiner will ask you to perform a lane change so they may ask you to perform it over here or they may ask you to perform it after crossing this signal make sure you stop at a safe distance you should be able to see the pavement and the road while stopping always check your back mirrors so i'm fast forwarding because i have to stop two times on this signal always check left right left while crossing any intersection and now we are going to turn right on colborn street west give signal check your mirror and blind spot and now the speed limit in the residential area is 40 km per hour this is stop sign only for us so if there are any cars coming from left or right let them pass stop for at least 3 seconds and then take a turn on warren avenue and now the examiner will ask us to make a stop on the road side because the examiner will ask us to take a three point turn so examiner can ask us to make it as a road side stop where we do all the road side stop maneuvers such that pulling up the uh, parking the car in the neutral or parking gear and then pulling up the handbrake and then parking according to the uphill or downhill parking and now we are going to take the three point turn
so while taking the turn give the signal on that in the direction where you are moving check your mirror and blind spot scan 360 degree and now we are turning right back onto the Colbone Street there is no stop sign so we will not stop and we will complete our maneuver stop sign only for us not for any oncoming traffic from left side or right side let them pass stop for at least three seconds check left right very carefully and now we are going to take a right turn so this is arena street so stop only for us one way stop and now give your signal check your mirror blind spot now at the moment the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour and very soon it is going to change to 50 kilometers per hour so there may be some cars parked around here where the examiner will ask us to do the parallel parking now the speed limit changes to 50 kilometers per hour and we are going to do a parallel parking with this car so make sure you align your car with the car and then give the signal and then turn your steering wheel move back approximately uh, make your car inclined at an angle of 45 degrees go back straight towards the curb and when you are very close to the curb turn your steering wheel in the opposite direction and park your car if you are far away from the curb then uh, complete the maneuver one more time to park straight make sure you do not drive over the curb if you have touched the curb so then you can move a little forward and then complete the maneuver and we are going to move back a little and then we are going to move forward now we are going to take a right turn onto the bond street west and immediately after taking the right turn we have to change three lanes to the left because we will be turning left so immediately after taking a right turn we are going to change lane left once and then we are going to change lane twice and then we are going to change the lane again because now we have to take a left turn on Park Road South. So make sure every time you give your signal, check your mirror and blind spot. Be careful, let the oncoming traffic pass. Drive safely, stop at a safe distance. Always check your back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. While taking the turn, check your mirror and blind spot. And now after taking the turn, if the road is clear, change the lane to the right. If not, then you can change the lane after crossing this signal. And the examiner may ask you that you stay in the uh, leftmost lane because we will be turning left very soon. But as a practice, we do not drive in the passing lane. So make a practice of changing lane to the right. So give your signal, check your mirror and blind spot. Drive at a safe distance. If you have to stop some way, then stop at a safe distance. Check all three mirrors. Check all the intersections that you are crossing for oncoming traffic. And now the examiner will ask us to change the lane back because from here, from the signal, we are going to turn left onto the John Street West. So give signal, check your mirror, blind spot stop before the solid line solid white line now the signal has turned green then drive in the middle of the intersection and wait for the oncoming traffic to pass once the way is clear we are going to complete the turn when it is safe to do so so now the car bus is very far so i'm going to complete the turn the speed limit on john street west is 50 kilometers per hour check left right on these crossings check your back three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds
and now the speed limit changes to 40 kilometers per hour and now from here the examiner will ask us to take a left turn and now the very important thing so I have followed a few cars I have followed a G test uh, sorry G2 test a few times but they have not asked the uh, the people who have taken the test to do the back parking so no reverse parking for Oshawa that I've seen and now we are going to do the another route so now we are going to take a right turn and then we are going to take a left turn so make sure you give your signal check your mirror and blind spot and then we are going to take a right turn so the examiner will may ask you to take a turn from here or from the uh, from the that signal that was just ahead of it and now we are turning right again on John Street so this is a stop sign only for us let all the oncoming traffic go and then complete the turn so from here the speed limit changes from 40 to 50 kilometers per hour check left right whenever crossing any intersection or crossing road crossing check your back three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds and now from here we are going to turn left onto Park Street South so earlier we turned onto the right went towards the north and right now we will drive a little bit closer to the John Street so we are going to take a left turn so as the signal turned yellow so I stopped do not cross the yellow light if you had to somehow cross the yellow light let the examiner lo know that it was not safe for you to stop now we are going to turn in the first lane and then immediately after that we are going to change the lane to the right because we do not drive in the passing lane And now we are going to turn right so the name of the street is Frontenac Avenue so it's just be before the pump fuel pump the speed limit in the residential area is 40 kilometers per hour so drive around that and now it's a stop sign only for us so make sure you stop check left right left and then when there is no oncoming traffic take the turn and then over here on Monterey Avenue, the examiner will ask us to do a roadside stop. So perform all the maneuvers, change the gear of your car to parking or neutral, pull up the handbrake, turn the steering wheel of your car to the left or to the right, turn off the hazard light. Because this roadside stop is mainly done for emergency vehicles, and now we are going to move forward so while moving forward while accelerating your car scan 360 degree give your signal check your mirror and blind spot and now this is a stop sign only for us so stop if there are any oncoming traffic let them pass And now there may be some cars parked on the road over here on the Montreal Avenue. So examiner will ask us to do the parallel parking. So we are going to do the parallel parking uh, in with, with the car that is parked in front of us over here. So stop next to the car with a gap of somewhere around 2 to 3 meters. Always give the signal of the right side. Let the vehicle behind you know that you are stopping. And then give the signal in the direction you are turning turn your vehicle full incline it somewhere around 45 degrees and then complete the back parking so uh, I have done it in front of a driveway but make sure that you do not do in front of a driveway or if the examiner will ask you to do it in front of a driveway you could uh, ask the examiner again that yeah you want me to uh, do it in front of a driveway so in this way the examiner will also come to know that you know the rules and that you are not allowed to park in front of any driveway and now from here we are going to turn left onto the pine avenue 
so again it is a stop sign only for us so there is no solid line make sure you stop uh, before the pedestrian and the curb exit check for oncoming traffic take the turn and now we are going to turn left again on Cromwell Avenue so uh, there is no stop sign so make sure you do not stop if there is any oncoming traffic from the front then only you take a stop else you complete the turn and now from here we are going to do a three point turn so give your left signal turn your steering wheel come in the middle of the lane and now give your right signal and then move back turn your steering wheel completely to the right and now you are going to give your left signal turn the steering wheel to the left and complete the turn and now we are turning left on pine avenue it's a stop sign one way so wait for oncoming traffic to pass wait for three seconds and then take the turn every time you are turning give signal check your mirror and blind spot and now we are going to turn right on Grenfell Street there is no stop sign so do not stop complete the maneuvers always uh, drive at a gap of two feet from the car that are parked and now we are going to take a right turn on King Street West King Street West so this is a stop sign only for us so let the oncoming traffic pass there may be some traffic on this road so as this is the main road the speed limit over here is 50 kilometers per hour and now we are turning right onto the park road south so give signal check your mirror blind spot complete the turn and then drive in the right lane because we do not drive in the passing lane on the left lane maintain the gap drive at the speed limit of 50 kilometers per hour check the all the intersections that you are crossing check all three mirrors and now we are going to change the lane because we are going to turn left on the john street west so merge one lane to the left and then from here we are going to turn left so wait for the oncoming traffic to pass there is only one car allowed in the middle of the intersection so if there is already a car stop before the pedestrian crossing the speed limit at the moment is 50 kilometers per hour so drive in the middle of the lane do not cut the cycle track cycle lane Now after this intersection the speed limit changes to 40 kilometers per hour and immediately after that we are going to take a right left turn towards drive test center let the oncoming traffic pass and then take the turn and then we are going to do a front parking in any slot over here so i hope you like the video please like it share it with your friends and family and watch it at least two to three times before your drive test thank you have a good one all the best for your drive test